it's a typical case of what needs to be said, what needs to be done, and a great time for advocacy. And this time, we're speaking to a personality who has now become one of the fulcrum around which we have many conversations when it comes to politics, human development, and what good governance should be, <laughs> OK? We also do know it's uh, an electioneering. Past party manifesto has been launched for the governing New Patriotic Party. But there's a bigger conversation, as we also have on the other side, people gravitating towards the opposition NDC. How do we make sure that those who are in the middle or on the sidelines are listened to? One person who has become very vociferous in his views, thinking that the thought of leadership should be for the people, by the people, and also doing good by the people, is Kwame A+. Plus. I'll speak to him very soon. And one of the fundamental things I would want to ask Kwame A+, Plus is why over a 10 to 15 year period, he seems to have changed his color his character, and his persona. <laughs> well, let me invite Kwame Apla. Kwame, how are you? Good. How are you? Yeah, great. This, Yay. This is a new way of greeting. This is a new way of greeting. Yeah. Now, I, I wanted to ask you this question. Are you a chameleon? Have you become a chameleon? Let's say if we take you 10 years ago, up to now, or even 12 years ago, in terms of what your political views are, what you think should be done right by the people? I think that what I have done consistently is to be against every government. And I'm very happy about that. I've always been because the politicians promise one thing, we believe them, and they come to power and do another. So I've always been against the government because they will never do what they say they will do. There are few instances where they do what they say they will do. <laughs> and that is what makes me happy. Everybody in Ghana knows that, like you're saying, since 2001, I have always been against who is in power because all of us know that who is in power have uh, who is in power has never done what they promised to do. Yeah. So you 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 just want to be different. You, you you're somebody who is a middle ground person. No, I'm just I'm just me. I've just been who I am. Everybody everybody votes and they go and they sleep, and the pro the politicians promise heaven and earth and they don't care, and 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 they don't they don't care about their tax money. I care. I care about my money. Um, just before we came on air, and indeed, um, I'm, I, have, I have liked your page on Facebook, uh, and so I, I, I constantly get notifications on my timeline whenever you make a posting. Especially when I'm doing a video at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that we'll have many things to talk about yeah. uh, in the next 30 to uh, 35 minutes, but um, people think that you know you were well known as a musician then you became even most known because you got very much attached to the opposition leader then now the president of our republic nana the danku kufado yeah. uh, now why is it that you seem to be at variance with his governance style the president taught us to do that when he became president of ghana out of all the men that mpp uh, as a party has he decided to choose Martin Amidu, somebody from a founded member of the opposition as a special prosecutor. He's somebody who likes people who are honest, he's somebody who likes people who are truthful, he's somebody who likes people who are principled. So if Nanado has chosen Martin Amidu as a special prosecutor, and you expect me not to tell the truth, or not to be principled, or not to, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I don't get it. You, you know the last time when we had this Tracy Bwachi issue and then there was a, a rebuttal that you, you had had a sexual intercourse, some yeah. sexual relations yeah. with her, and yeah. etc. And you yeah. came in, yeah. and was it was it toffee you were chewing or something of the sort? Or honey. You, yeah. honey. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah. I mean, it, all, it was almost like much ado about nothing. Yeah, like I've had so many sexual intercourse, so many. I'm forty three. So, I've so, had a lot. So you are saying so it doesn't you, matter if you are talking about something that I had ten <laughs> or so years ago. That is that is that is a waste of everybody's time. I, I, I have had a lot. In fact, apart from having sexual intercourse, I've done. Almost everything. I have smoked weed before. I've done everything. That is not important. What is important is that somebody says that they're going to build factories. John, John Mahama is promising everything, including I'm sure soon he'll promise one man one Viagra. 
<laughs> you understand? Yeah, he wants to pay assembly members. <laughs> he wants to pay, yes. Yeah. So these are issues that are important. These are issues that we should talk about. The, 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 if you come and say, oh, A plus has uh, had a girlfriend, how does that affect your very life? How does that affect the economy of Ghana? We have to get serious. Okay. Now, uh, let's talk um, pre-2017. Um, you, you were very much into the Nanado refrain, Nanado promise. Mm. Then all of a sudden, um, just a year into the administration, mm. you've become bonfire. Mm. I mean, throwing salvos and missiles, criticizing things that you think are not right. Mm. What exactly did, do you think went wrong with what the narrative was in opposition mm. and the narrative is now? I, I, I want to be very honest about this. Please be. No goes bad. No, 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 no. Uh, especially now that we have grown, and I, I have to say that we, have, we keep growing. His Excellency the President called all of us, he invited us. In fact, I'm not one party food soldier who just got up and went to the Independence Square. I had an invitation to all the events on... It shows the, that you're an important the, person. I am, I am honored, uh, yes. I, am priv I was privileged to have an invitation to be at the Independence Square, where His Excellency the President told us to be citizens and help him protect the public purse. That's what he told us. When he came to power, that is what we wanted to do for him, to help him protect the public purse. So protecting the public purse comes with all the issues that people don't want to hear. Because there are too many criminals around him. Too many people want, want to use his government for their personal interests, to humiliate him, it will affect his legacy. And this is somebody that we have been with. And for put, helping the president protect the public purse and, uh, uh, by fighting corruption, we, the people around him, have some of them actually, have decided to fight us. Which is, which, is, which is very wrong. We have lost a lot. We have lost a lot. If the president tells me that, help me protect the public purse, and because of that, people are coming after my business and I invest so much and I take bank loans and you, and, and, and you are canceling my contracts and you are doing just because I don't want to be the people who will keep quiet and chop. We have to live in a country where if you have a job, you should have a voice. You yeah. cannot give me a, a job and take away my right to freedom of expression. Or just because you give me a job, all of a sudden, when I see black, it's white. And, 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 and I've seen that you've adopted a certain laissez-faire attitude, like, I don't care. Yeah, no, uh, th there's no. a lens, so you always have to look into the lens. Yeah. No, I, uh, I really care. If I don't care, I'll be standing in the middle of the road when the car is coming. I care, but I, I don't allow it to affect me. I am not fearless, but fear will never stop me from doing what will make this country great, from doing what will make me great, from what, doing what is right. And um, the, the, what has happened now is not a change for me, if you ask me. It's not a change from one Kwame plus to another. This is the same thing that happened under John Mahama. We are out there talking about all the wrongs. This is the same thing that happened under Tamils. You, you had a contract with the state agency, right? Yes. When the government came to power. Mm. And the contract was cancelled? Mm hmm Okay. So because of that, you went into the bush? Everybody must be angry. We, we cannot continue living in because a country Because your contract where was cancelled? Everybody... That's why you're against you, Canada you, and you, you have to support me. If not, we, we must end this culture where people come to power and decide to use their power to fight people who are fighting uh, uh, enemies of the state. We must not. I have to be angry. Roland, why are you not angry that just because you have a job, you cannot have a voice again? I've given you a contract, so shut up and chop. Now, when is anything is wrong, say it's right. How can we live in such a country? It makes me angry, and it must make you angry. It must make everybody angry. People must be who they want to be. If you read The Men Who Built America, if you watch the documentary of The Men Who Built America, all of these are men who had their own political ideologies and affiliations and all, from the Vanderbilt to Rockefeller, to they all somewhere, the Democrats, somewhere, Republicans. But they are the men who were allowed to build America. In Ghana, so your boss, Mr. Kwesi Chun, has all the media houses that you can think of. He does not have a voice. He dare not come on Joy FM and say the city is uh, depreciating. Tomorrow they will start coming after Joy FM. And you are saying that practice should stop? It has to stop. And everybody, including every media, everybody must support me that A plus was the only person amongst all the 800 people who had a contract at Boss who was speaking. 
even though he had a contract. And because of that, the contract was taken. And he's angry. And yes, I have to be angry. This is not, this is not a civilized way of living in a country. You have consistently claimed that there seemed to be incessant corruption mm. in the Nanado-led government, mm. not necessarily by the personality, mm. by people around him. Why do you say so? Um, because I think, I think that the president is, um, is a good guy. Uh, I still believe, even though the reason why at, 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 at the, in some of my write-ups I say he's being dishonest and hypocritical is that he, I, I think he has given people too much freedom. If a plus says that this guy is corrupt and because of that it's a criminal investigation and, and somebody goes to Australia and, and we have all these visa issues, scandal coming up, and those people are working through, and the president has cleared them. There are so many instances where the president has cleared people. And why is, what is A-plus's problem? Why is he at the CID? Because he said somebody is corrupt. Me alleging corruption, and the person who is corrupt, who should be at the CID? You understand? So sometimes I have my own issue. My issues with Nanado are personal and emotional because I know him. I know who he is. I know what he can do. So there are certain decisions that if it doesn't go the way it should go, it makes me sad. Nanado, His Excellency the President, must not sit down and watch people go to the north and go and, and, and build one dam, one village, one pothole. Those are not dams. Have you been there, Pastor? I've seen, I've, look, I've seen, I've been there, I, I've been, I, I, am, I am, I know the north like. like you mean you're a man on the ground? Of course. Look, I, I travel from Weji to Bali to Bamboy to Sola to what? When you to went to those places, I, uh, just like our correspondent said, the dams are not dams. If that How is, would you describe that, them as, 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 as an entrepreneur? As and somebody pot, who I say potholer. I've already told you that those ones are potholes. And listen, let me. I'm telling you this, and you can put me on record. The president was not happy with the work that he did. The president was not happy. He was not happy with the work that was done. But you see. These institutions are very difficult to lead, NDC and MPP. You can be Jesus Christ. You can be Jesus Christ. And it will be very difficult. And uh, I, <laughs> I think that maybe we also have to learn from all of these. Uh, Nanado knows some of the issues that are not right and all, but I think it's very difficult to lead NDC and MPP. The institution itself is built on corruption. So even if they put you on top as the leader, the guys will come to you and force you to be one of them. If I have to ask of you, give me four cardinal principles that you thought was being preached pre-2017 that have now been breached, what would they be? Corruption, 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 corruption. All four? Yes. That almost like a house in Shanghai. This is the only, this is the only government that has a special prosecutor. Apart from the CID, apart from the Yoko, apart from the BNI, apart from everything that you have, we also have the office of the special prosecutor. We have all of these. And the special prosecutor, with all the budget that has been given to him, is not being able to retrieve money for the state. The only person that is retrieving money for the state that you and I know is the Auditor General. He's the only one who is in the physical fight against corruption. And he's the one that they don't like. You see, let's be, let's be truthful. We must be truthful. He's the, he's the one that they don't like. This is a government that used ANAS, uh, that promised to use ANAS principle to fight corruption. Today, we don't like ANAS. This is a government that used Manasseh's documentaries and Joy FM reports as their basis to call the previous government corrupt. Today, Manasseh is against them. Has Manasseh's contract been cancelled? No. What is making him better? Because what was promised is not what has been done. A Vim lady is speaking. Has a, cancel, a contract been cancelled? No. Nana Banam said, let's get both NDC and MPP away. Has a contract been cancelled? No. I, I can give you names. So what is making all these people angry? So you're saying it's not because it's a not, contract has been cancelled or somebody of, is bitter? Of, of course. Can, uh, 
Honorable Kennedy Japan has said more than I have said. He's not the only one. We, we have their own regional chairman, Abron, here saying that they are corrupt. Even their deputy general secretary said that they are grabbing, grabbing everything. So why is the focus on A plus who lost the contract? Mm. Let me just go onto your Facebook. Mm. And sometimes it marvels me. So mm -hmm. I'm on A plus mm -hmm. Facebook, mm -hmm. a page that I've also subscribed. Mm -hmm. And if you look at your postings, mm. sometimes you get 700 views in an hour, <laughs> Seven, 700 comments. Um, what does that tell you about what you're doing? My page reaches 4.5 million people every week. That's, that's on the low, 4.5 million people. Wow on the low every week. It tells me that people are listening to me. It tells me that people like how I do it. I, 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 have, a, I have a way. People say, people say, oh, he's an attention seeker. I say, if I don't have your attention, how can you listen to what I want to tell you? So it's good. And, and you see, I have, I, have, uh, I have a certain, I have observed a certain trend. When I do the trend analysis, I notice that over, over a certain period, the mindset of the, of the people keeps changing. Those who, were, those who were commenting in this direction are today commenting differently. So I, it, it, that is what keeps me going. That's my motivation. It urges me on to do more. The people love it. If, look, one day I'll make you an admin on the page so that you can go through the inbox messages. You will be, you will be amazed. Will and you? I'm also helping the people. My page is open for people to advertise. Yeah, I've seen it. Yes. Yeah. Somebody, yeah, you posted a screenshot of somebody who was grateful. Oh, that, yeah, that, there are many, many of, of them. them. Yeah. There are many of them. Now, since you started gravitating away mm. from the normal politics mm. and decided to be the renegade, mm. somebody who is a, a rogue, so to speak, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you've decided to embark on something different. Mm. What, what is it? I think that the only time I, after, after, after being part of this cycle for 28 years, NDC 8 years, MPP 8 years, NDC 8 years, MPP 8 years, I think that I have observed that the only time this country will change is when there is a significant threat to NDC MPP power. I don't understand. NDC and MPP are too comfortable. They know for a fact that it's eight years, eight years. They don't care. You mean they, they know that it's a given? They know that it's a given. They know that if they don't win this election, let's say John Muhammad does not win this election, he thinks that the election was rigged. He doesn't care. He will, there will be some small skirmishes. We, oh, we won't agree, then they will give up. But in 2024, if they are still that strong and they feel that they, that, and they have the slightest uh, 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 evidence that the election has been rigged, they'll, bring the, they'll, they'll, they'll burn the country down. They know it's eight years, eight years. That is how they feel. So until the people of this country can create a third force, that is deciding the election. That does not care whether you have been in power for just four years or whatever. The country will not change. And the reason why this is working out so well is that it is not something that I want. It's something that is in everybody's head. That's why you get the accolades on Facebook. That's on why. Your page. That, that's why. That's why the people are here every day. When the boys move and they come here, it's crazy. So when you are saying that even though a section of the population have not altered their sentiments, mm -mm. their dissenting mm -mm. sentiments yes. publicly. Yes. There's a silent minority out there who are concerned about the current state of government. The people who, who actually decide who is president are there. They're silent. And, many of them. And, 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 and they are the people you... And I'm putting those people together under one umbrella. What they is that? Many of them under, under the People's Project. What? Under the People's Project. The People's Project. Yes, under TPP. TPP. Yes, there are many people out there who, do not, who are looking for somebody who can shout to win so that they respond yay. There are so many of them out there. 
plus. Is it not that you're also somebody who also wants to get to the reins of governance? You won't get want to get closer to the reins of leadership. What is what is wrong with that? And do you well, have a problem with? Well, there's nothing wrong with that. You also get the. I remember and, and, when you. I and, remember when you started uh, 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 your. With my media, media practice. You wanted to get here, and you are here, and I'm happy for you. Why are you not happy for me? Mm. Mm -hmm. and, and when because you get there, there were corrupt journalists. There were people who wanted to take money for whatever. So, I, so was it was it right for me to say, oh, you, you want to be a big journalist so you can also take Soli? No. Roman Catholic Church was not begun as Roman Catholic Church. I'm sure it began as a prayer group. And this is where it is. For now, our focus is, is to create a third force to reduce the power of NDC and MPP. So you call it TTP? TPP. The TPP. People's, TPP yes, the, the People's, people's project. project. Yes. To give the people, to, to give NDC and MPP a certain sense of responsibility. They have to be responsible. The power that we give to them must be handled properly. Now they don't care. Now it's just about, I want to, I want to do this and vote for me, and everybody gets the vote and they go. Once the, an election enters a second round, and the people of Ghana step out and say, now we are going to decide. Once, once, once it is not about one party going to decide, once it's not a, 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 a how do you call it, a done deal for any party, once, it, once it's not a one-off thing that everyone knows one touch, we are going to win one touch. When the people in government, NDC and MPP, notice that, henceforth, you cannot just get up and win an election just because you are MPP or NDC and you have members. And that the people themselves are discerning enough to make their own decisions. They will start thinking. So you have an office, a structure? We have a headquarters that is bigger than their headquarters. This is our headquarters, mm. very big. So can you we see? go to your office? Yes. All you right. see? Really? Yes, the diaspora. Tomorrow, for instance, we are commissioning, you know, we are doing all the charity projects. Tomorrow we are commissioning a water project in the central region for a village called Bremen Usuoko. So uh, our members uh, finance everything that we do. They, they support us in, in, every, in everything that we do. Yes, and uh, we are very comfortable, very. And the next phase is what? After TPP, you um, become TP party. Um, just like I, I just like I said, uh, MPP began as a, as a, uh, a club. A, a club, meeting. Uh, yes. A meeting. Dan yes. Dan yes. Yeah. So um, our focus right now is to create a third force. They should end this and MPP shouldn't be too comfortable. I think they are too comfortable, and that is what we want them. At. We, we are not looking at forming a party to, that is not what we are thinking about right now. What we are thinking about right now is that whoever is in government must know that there is a force. Kenyans have slept for a long time. I keep telling people, anybody who wins the election, TPP is here, we are putting people together. If you don't do what you, what you promise to do, and you turn around and start telling lies in arrogance, we are going to put the people on the street. We are going to put a million people on the street. Nobody can move in Ghana when there are a million people standing at circle. You can't go anywhere. The people have slept for too long. People have become comfortable in stealing our money. People have become arrogant in stealing our money. You, you understand. So TPP is not looking at tomorrow we want to form a party and this is what, this is what I was expecting Park Kwesindom or all of these small, small parties to do. You don't need to be president before you can change anything. So our agenda is not to be in power. This is what we're expecting Occupy Ghana to do. But they rushed into government and went and took positions and they went to sleep. It's, just, it's left with a few of them. And these are the guys that we look up to. These are the people that we see are intellectuals. They are this. And they formed Occupy Ghana, which was very beautiful. And we love the idea. But the same old Sakawa, they went, some of them went into government and took positions. And, and now the same people who are coming after Joe Mahama for everything, are defending another government. Yeah. And this is what you think should not be the case. It shouldn't be the status quo. It should not. It should not. What do you think the narrative should be as we are now in the election year? We already have another Danko Kufado, the flag bearer mm. of the governing MPP, mm. indeed to the president of our republic, the opposition, a flag bearer, former president, John Dramani Mahama is also all there. 
and they're again espousing many things they would want to do for the people. What do you think the narrative should be during the, this election? The youth, the youth will decide this election. The youth of this country will decide this election. This is one of the most critical elections that we have ever held in the, in the history of Ghana. The, the president has one more term to go. And if John Mahama wins, he can be president for just one term. They all have one term. And we saw, even when we were looking for second terms, we saw what they did and how they ran the country. So whoever, be it an independent candidate, be it John Mahama, be it His Excellency Nana Dudankwe Kufuado, whoever becomes president from 2021 must be chosen carefully because Yes, if John Mahama wins, I told you guys I was going to come back. I'm back. I'm going to do what I want. I have just one, four years to go. I don't care. If, if Nanadu wins, it can be the same. They all have one term. But it doesn't matter. They're still running on the ticket of, uh, of their major political they parties. They can decide. Look, immediately Nanadu wins the election. After 2020, after 2020, 2021, the next thing that happens is that all of them will be looking at the next flag bearer. It will be very difficult for them. We know this is politics. Everybody in the MPP will be looking for the next source of power. And that is where the allegiance will start, uh, 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 will be directed to. And so it will be very difficult for the man. And we need Ghanaians to support whoever is the president. We need a huge, we need a, a, a certain uh, number of people to support whoever is there. And this person must be a very truthful person, somebody who believes in what he himself said in opposition. We need people to support the country called Ghana. NDC and MPP, they are the same. Roland, in the history of this country, 1996, the vice president of the Republic of Ghana was the running mate of the opposition. You're talking about Paul Akar. Of course. Akar was the vice president of Ghana, who was also the running mate of the opposition and was sitting in cabinet meetings. And this NMPP is just a group of people who have divided themselves. And now is the time for the youth to choose somebody as their president and be with the person and make sure that that person is doing exactly what he said he, he, he is going to do and they vote for him. That saying, how do you think that we can make the leaders that we appoint, whether it's John Romani Mahama, Nanado Dankwe Kufuado, do what we want them to do? In, 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 in Hong Kong, in Hong Kong, the Chinese government decided to uh, uh, pass an extradition order, to pass an extradition order that a certain level of criminals must be, criminality must be sent to mainland land China. And the people came out in their numbers. Well, so that was the interaction uh, with Kwame Plus. You get this on our uploads as we put them on social media, where Facebook journeys on TV, uh, bits on our Twitter handle, and then also you get it all through YouTube, through our channel, Journeys TV. But we all do know that information is a great source of power. Now, while we celebrate graphic at 70 and counting, we also believe our content, which is accepted as truth and accuracy every day, should be accessible on the go. Access your favorite daily graphic and weeklies. That is, we're talking in the mirror, graphic business, graphic showbiz, junior graphic, and graphic sports on Graphic News Plus app, and enjoy up to 30% discount on your daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, half yearly, or annual subscriptions as best suits your wallet. Now, this offer is on until uh, October 31, 2020. Don't miss it at all. Download Graphic news plus now on the google play store or app store as you also remain abreast of and keep pace with the changing times on the go please stay safe stop the spread and always be the bearer of credible news from graphic communications group limited graphic truth and accuracy every day graphic news plus connecting people through news bulk sms 163 characters including spaces subscribe to graphic news plus for timely news on the go at 30 percent off download on google play store and app store today meanwhile we have a very good friend of ours celebrating uh, some great times and from captain elvis blay of the ghana Armed forces command and staff college gafsi to 
uh, your lovely wife, Theresa Cheiba, for it's a great time today. And we wish you and the rest of the family well. That's why we have to take a break. When we come back, we'll bring you some uh, highlights from the world of showbiz.